Hi, it's Seta here. This time I've prepared a short tutorial for you on how to make object in Unity water system float and move along with the water current, because you often ask for such a tutorial in the comments. So let's dive in. Unfortunately, Unity water system doesn't include a built-in feature that lets you easy place an object on the water and make it behave realistically. That's why we'll need to use a custom script. You can download such an example script along with comments for each line of code from the link in the video description. And now let's go through how to use it. At the beginning it is worth mention that if we want to any script work with the water system, first we need to enable script interaction in the water component and choose whether we want only to the mine waves to be considered in the calculation or whether Unity should also consider ripples. And now let's create a new game object and place it in the scene. Next we need to attach our script to this object and configure a few options. First we need to choose which water surface our script should take into account, so let's grab our water system component and place it in the appropriate window. As you can see our object immediately starts flowing on the water surface and by clicking include deformers we can specify whether deformation should also be considered in the calculation. So if your water has for example shoreline waves it is worth enable these options. Below in the vertical offset we can adjust the vertical position of our object and thanks to this we can make it more submerged or more rise above the surface. At this point our object just floats in the water, but if we enable follow water current it will start moving according to the water direction. If we go to the water and then select current in debug mode we can see which direction our object will follow. Of course we can easily add a current map to our water which allow us control the direction of the water and the direction in which our object will flow. You can learn more about creating such a map by watching this tutorial. Next we have current speed, which allow us to set the speed at which our object will move relative to the water movement. In our script we also have one more option, collision detection. If we don't enable it, our object will simply pass through any object it encounters. However, if we enable these options and select the layer that the collision should consider, then when we press play, the script will automatically add the appropriate rigid body to our object and when the collision is detected, the script will disable the options that makes our object float with the current. Of course, this is just an example solution and everyone can expand the script to fit their own needs. And that's all in this video. I hope the script will be useful for you and thanks to it you will be able to easy create floating object in your game. If you have any questions feel free to write them in the comments and until next time, see ya.